The brilliant thing about personal projects is they can not only be a lot of fun, they can be a great way to level up your creative career. I'm gonna talk about how, share a few inspiring examples, and give you some tips for getting started. Let's go. Hello friends, my name is Matt Brunton. I'm a designer from the north of England. And today we're gonna to be looking at a few ways that self-initiated projects can help you grow, especially if you're feeling a little bit stuck at the moment. Back in March, 2020, when clients were canceling projects, I started a self-initiated work named Crest to Icon, where each day I redesigned a badge from the English Premier League. That's football for those who don't know. And I took these uh, sometimes detailed compositions, these historical crests, and replace them with a single identifying symbol. And doing this every day reminded me that personal projects are a great way to sharpen your skills. Usually when we work on an identity, we might be stress testing designs through applications for weeks or months, but having to crank these out every day really uh, sharpens your thinking skills and your technical skills. A lot of designers who were early on in their career talked to me about this chicken and egg situation. I, I can't find work because there's nothing to put in my portfolio, but I can't put anything in my portfolio because I can't find any work. Personal projects can be the answer to this. Number two, personal projects can help you build your portfolio. Aaron Draplin, the well-known US American graphic designer, talks about this, that he just got started. He just uh, made things and he never fell into this chicken and egg situation. And it's incredible how that's propelled him through his career as he's continued to design around things he's just interested in, the, the music he likes, the, the ephemera and junk he finds in this whole uh, world of Americana. He connects with people who have the same vibe, who have the same taste, who, who like his aesthetic. And it's been able to launch this whole merch line out of it. You never know where these personal projects will propel you. Again, back in lockdown, I uh, created a little poster called When This Is All Over. That was an interactive uh, thing that people could engage with and, and share their thoughts on the experiences they were going through. And this got picked up by an art project and then it got picked up by the University of Indiana School of Arts. And they started using this in their outdoor exhibitions in the community, taking it to different areas in the Midwest, people that maybe didn't usually get the chance to, to access art and at this time couldn't because galleries were closed. And this was great for me because I was able to represent this in my uh, marketing and mention that this had been picked up by an art school. But also it was even better to see young people thousands of miles away from where I created this poster actually having the opportunity to reflect on their experiences and the things they were going through through my design. Jessica Walsh is another designer that inspires me and her Sorry I Have No Filter series is a great example of a personal, a self-initiated project and where that can take you. She's able to share not just her skills in typography, art direction, photography that her and the team uh, possess at the Amwell studio, but also their wit and also their perspective. And that's attracted the kind of clients they want, the kind of clients that are going to work well with them. And they've been able to um, present similar photo series for big brands. It's led directly to work. And I've experienced that myself. I've hired people just based on their personal projects alone. And I've had clients reference my personal projects back to me. It is a great way to build your portfolio by doing the kind of work you want to do because the kind of work you show is the kind of work you'll get more of. I know there's maybe a lot of you watching who are in in-house roles at the moment or maybe just through what you're doing, you're feeling a little bit uh, burnt out and personal projects can be a great way to reconnect to your passion. Number three, they're a great way to stay creative. It's easy sometimes to just be churning out uh, designs, but we need to find that space to reconnect to our passion and try things out, try new uh, skills and experiment with new ideas, get weird and find a, a new approach that you'll be able to bring in to your client work. 
Dia, the agency famous for their kinetic identities and motion design, are a great example of this. They produce stunning work, but they talk openly about how research and development and the partnerships they have with universities are a key factor in pushing them into new areas that then informs their client work. It's been said that play is the highest form of research. So get weird and try things out in your personal projects. So how do you get started? Well, here's a few ideas. Number one, you could join a design challenge, something like 36 days of type. Number two, you could find a brief online. Goodbrief.io is a great resource. You choose your media and you choose the sector and a professional brief uh, will pop out. Another thing you could do would be to redesign some existing work. Uh, take a home page and bring your own spin to it. It might be a print work, it might be an identity, but redesign something that already exists that you've got a new take on. Another way is to build your own brief. This could be in a, one of your hobbies or an area you're passionate about or a cause you believe in. I saw this great website, Stop the Stigma, where the designer not only showed off uh, their typography skills, but also their layout and uh, web development ability in this project that not only raised awareness for this really important issue, but also was a calling card for their own work. So let me encourage you finally to set some parameters on these projects. Don't just leave them half done, but make them time bound. Let me encourage you to show your work. You know, when you share it, it makes it real. It's really tempting to think, I'm just practicing. I'm, I'm going to hide this away. I'll show it to people when it's good enough. And you never will. But if you commit to showing it and sharing your progress in public, you will see the benefits of that. I'll confess that when I work on these daily projects, it's never perfect. And I have to get over that in order to be able to share it. So perhaps personal projects can be a thing that can help you if you're feeling a little bit stuck at the moment, you need to get creative again, it might help you move forward. Hope this has been helpful. If it has, let us know down in the comments and we'll see you soon.